Okay, so now we're going to create a site archive for importing our site into Pantheon. In this lesson, we're going to take a demo site that we have, and we're going to create the single file site archive option here using two different tools. So there are two different ways that we can create this single file. First, we're going to see how to do it with backup and migrate module. And then secondly, we'll take a look at how to do the same thing with Drush using the archive backup command. So this is going to give us one single file that contains our code base, our database, and our files, which makes it the simplest and easiest way to get our archive created and easiest way to import this into Pantheon. So you can see I have my demo site set up here. We have content in there and I have users and things like that going on. It's not a fancy site, obviously, but this is just to show you how the tools work with a Drupal site. Now, we're going to be using Backup and Migrate to create this single archive file. Before I do that, though, a couple of just sort of housekeeping things that you want to do before you create that archive. The first thing we want to do is stick this into maintenance mode so that nobody else is actually changing data on the site or doing anything funky like that. So if I go to configuration and development, we can go to maintenance mode and put the site into maintenance mode. The next thing I want to do is I want to clear the cache. So we'll go back to configuration, go back down to development, performance, and we'll just clear all the caches. You could, of course, also do that from Drush and just do Drush CC all for that. So with these things done and in place, the site is cleaned up and tidy and ready to go. If we go to configuration, I already have backup and migrate installed and enabled on this site, which is just a good practice anyway for having backups running. Now, by default, Backup and Migrate is going to be set to just back up your database, the default database setting. And what we want to do is back up the entire site with the code, the files, and the database. This is going to be create that one archive file instead of creating separate files. So we'll do that, and we can just leave everything else at their defaults and say Backup Now, and I'm going to download this. So you can see we need to download it. I'm just going to download this to my desktop, make it easy to find. Save that. And that's that. I now have just one tar.gz file that has all of my site in it. So that's how to do it with Backup and Migrate. Let's take a quick look at how to do the exact same thing, but with Drush. So now I'm on the command line. I'm in my terminal. So I want to make sure that I'm in the root of my Drupal site when I go ahead and do this archive command. This is a very simple command. So it's Drush, and the long form is archive dump. Or you can just use the short form, which is ARD. All I need to do is that command, hit enter, and it's going to go ahead and, again, create that single archive file for me. And you can see it tells me where it has saved it. So it saved it into the default Drush backups directory. That's what happens if you don't give it any destination in particular. Now, by default, the Drush backups are located in your home directory. So for me, it's my user add one son directory. There's a Drush backups folder and it's in there. Now, if you want, you can add a destination and that would tell it where to put the file specifically if you have a particular destination. So let's say I wanted this specifically just to go to my desktop and I didn't want to hunt around for it. I can do the command like this, drush ard dash dash destination equals, and then give it the path with the file name of where I actually want that to go. So if I do this command, it's doing the exact same process. It's just placing it in a different location that might be a little easier for me to find. So let's actually go look. I'm going to go into Finder and actually see what we've got here. So you can see I have these two files here. So we have this site archive that was uh, created by backup and migrate module. This is the second of those Drush commands I ran because I just gave it a simple name. And again, that archive, uh, so the first time I ran the Drush command, it placed it in the default location. That default location is in my home folder on my machine in the Drush backups folder. And there's archive dump. And then you can see that we have my file here. So you could do it either way there. And let's just go ahead and, and open one of these up. And you can see when we go into this folder here, I have my database dump, 
I have my Drupal site files, uh, including my default and files directories. So everything that I need to create a brand new site, I'm all set to import this now into Pantheon. So as a recap, in this lesson, we created a single file site archive using two different methods. First, we looked at using backup and migrate module, and then we looked at using the drush command archive dump, or ARD, to create this single file archive that has our database, our files, and our code base all in one file, ready to upload into Pantheon.